So in the middle of this, you know, obviously very dramatic work, we do try to have a little fun and try to bring attention to some issues that um, most Americans think is happening over there. Um, let me just read a, a quote from our founder, Bono, who, uh, who has been such an inspiration to all of us about the challenge and sort of the injustice that I think motivates so many of us. It was the look in their eyes when the nurses gave them the diagnosis, HIV positive, then said there was no treatment. I saw no anger in their expression, no protest. If anything, just a sort of acquiescence. The anger came from the nurses, who knew there really was a treatment, just not for poor people in poor countries. They saw the absurdity in the fact that an accident of geography would deny their patients the two little pills a day that could save their lives. And I think that passion of his, the, the injustice of the indignity of the fact that depending on where you are born, whether in Sub-Saharan Africa or in Southeast DC, that you may live or you may die. And I think that's partly what keeps us going and um, we're really honored at one to be part of an incredible movement in which you are all involved and with you turn the tide on this pandemic and one day get rid of it. So thank you so much for having me. How's everybody doing? Good. Warm enough for you? Yeah. I'm Don Blanchard. I'm the CEO of Whitman Walker Health. And um, uh, on behalf of our entire family, welcome to Going the Extra Mile. You guys have been wonderful so far. We just have a few more things to do. We have one more awardee, and then we're, uh, we're going to hear from our fearless leader in legal services, Dan Bruner. So um, our uh, final Tobin Award uh, E tonight, or Award E's, this year are being recognized for the work uh, done here in Washington, D.C. And their work reminded us of the epidemic that's raging throughout the entire community. Um, it knows no bounds. We've talked about this before. Uh, doesn't know the bounds of gender, or race, or economic considerations. Doesn't care where you live. Um, and it's here, and it's here in force. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, let's direct your attention to the screen. <laughs> 